everybody, better late than never, I am here to do my March favourites. I'm doing them late every single month, but at least I'm getting them done. So, um, again, I've put a ton of effort into my makeup and had to slap my hair back because my first fail of the month is a new shampoo. So, the shampoo didn't work out for me, so it's back until I get my order of my Kerastase. So, that was really boring. Wasn't? Okay, I'll keep it. First things first, I'm going to talk about my favourite perfumes of last month. Now, I don't have an actual um, bottle to show you or even a sample, but more of a general um, new new lust of mine. So we often, every weekend, go to the mall um, and I go and just smell a bunch of perfumes. And really, lately, uh, the weather doesn't seem to be getting much cooler at all. We still need to use the aircon sometimes, but... Um, I don't know, I think I'm just getting so excited for autumn that uh, I'm really I'm really gravitating towards the uh, warmer scents and really not that into spring and summer scents but I'm going to try a bit harder next year to get stuck into them. So what I've been enjoying is discovering that um, there is a world of beauty in fragrances that I previously wasn't into and I'm talking about things um, like with stronger aldehydes like Chanel number no. 5 um, and just deeper more more kind of what would you call them just more classic scents that um, I think it takes a while for you to actually start to appreciate you have to be in the game for a while and then you can just start to really understand um, those kind of um, Chanel number no. 5-esque scents. So I discovered this. I've always had it in the back of my mind that I really want to one day understand scents like that. Um, thanks to Lenny Smith. He has told me one day, one day I'll understand it. And, um, yeah, so last month I was at the mall and I sprayed on some Eau de Toilette because I've been reading the Luca Turin book and he reckoned that the um, if you don't like the Eau de Parfum, try the Eau de Toilette because it's um, in his eyes, Tanya Sanchez, who's also an author in that book, I reckon it's a lot nicer. So I tried it and I went about my business, I went, um, I tried on some outfits and stuff and I just, I kept getting whiffs on it. I just thought, actually, I feel like a queen, I feel like a beautiful princess and I suddenly started to understand it. I do love my Chanel No. 5 Eau Premiere the most, but um, I've been experimenting with different, um, different classic scents like that and I'm really looking forward to getting into Chanel number no. 22 which was gifted to me by a sweet subscriber. I'm going to enjoy reviewing some more classic perfumes for you guys Is in future. Is Chanel number no. 22? Mm. I'll give it, I'll give you a smell in a little while. Mm. Mm. Do, do they literally have I think so, but they only put the good ones in. Okay, now for the fun makeup y stuff. I have had fun this month. I have already mentioned my Clinique CC Cream in my favourites of last year. I'll give you a little swatchy swatch. I really love this for um, just days when I don't want to think. I, I've, as I've been getting older, I've started to realise that I really need to put more effort. Well, I haven't started to realise. I've known for a while <laughs> that I have to put more effort into the base that I put on my face because I don't want to be doing any damage um, considering that age is going to do a bit for me so I've got this Clinique Moisture Surge CC Cream it's SPF 30 hydrating and it's a color, color corrector so um, no matter how I wake up if I've got to get going I can pop this on and it leaves a nice nice base there and if I need a little bit if it's a little bit kind of two-dimensional and I need to make it a little bit more glowy I'll just pop some MAC face and body foundation over the top and I'm good to go Okay, also, speaking of MAC, um, MAC Prep and Prime, I'm going to put some on now. I'm going to look a little bit sweaty. This tastes like perfume. Um, this stuff is fantastic. You'll see that I'm a little bit shiny now, but what it does, you can spray this on while you're doing your makeup, um, different stages, like you'll put your foundation sprayed on, put your concealer sprayed on, put your blush sprayed on. You can spray this on as many times as you like and it just seem it just it just melts everything onto your face seamlessly and gives it more of a, a kind of like an airbrush there's just no no edges it's all just 
a work of art if that's what you're going for this is really good I've got another little small bottle as well and it's not that costly to buy in Australia I think it's like $27 I'll correct myself if I'm wrong but it is fantastic for the price because it lasts a while and I did buy this from the Australian website because of our, um, our dollar we can't really get things from overseas at the moment and it just arrived in just a beautiful big box and all the frills and all the um, worms and I just loved it love it I have found my ideal toner and it's the Clarins lotion tonique chamomile um, it is a oh, toning lotion with chamomile, I'll read the English, hey? Um, alcohol free, normal or dry skin and I love it because it smells really natural and it just feels like it's calming my skin and I've got this one too yeah I've got this um, Lancome, I love Lancome but I think that their uh, their skincare stuff is just so highly fragranced that it just I get worried every time I put it on my skin because it doesn't like this, this is fragranced but it smells natural whereas this one smells like highly perfumed with unnecessary perfume so and it feels nice going on but it doesn't feel like it's doing the job maybe it's because this is for um, dry skin which I have but I don't know it's just it's not work, not working so me. when I find a product that isn't a hundred percent I don't use it on my face I'll use it all down here so even if I've got a serum that um, even if it's a pretty good serum but then I've got a better serum what I do is I use the best stuff on my face and the rest all down here so that works for me anyway I'm off subject Clarins toning lotion love it love it love it, love it. you know I'm wearing red lips all of April to support sexual violence awareness month so that's why I'm wearing red lips more details down below so I'm not able to wear my favorite lipstick for you guys today and I've even kept the box so I can show you it is a lovely lipstick. Okay, Estee Lauder. I bought their Colour Envy in Potent uh, because I was going through a long stage of thinking that that kind of apricot -y pink colour was the only thing that worked on me and it just, I don't know, it kind of was drying on my lips and I didn't really, I, even though it looked beautiful and it felt beautiful, just something wasn't right and I had to give it away because I just can't keep anything that I don't love. So anyway, I discovered that they came out with the Pure Colour Envy Shine Sculpting Shine Lipstick. So, so this is the Shine version and it's in a thinner um, tube. It comes like this and I haven't cleaned it. Oh! Expensive. Looks like I've attacked it with a lip brush. Ew. So this is the colour, it's in Mischievous Rose and it is just so beautiful. Um, it really depends on what foundation I'm wearing because sometimes you have like a foundation that's slightly a different tone, like if I've got more of a yellow tone or a pink tone, it changes, but it is just so beautiful. It's like a dark nude on me, but anybody with darker skin tone than mine, this would be just such a magnificent nude colour. I absolutely love it. It's just I know how I've been looking for this um, Rouge Coco Shine in Evasion, which they don't make anymore, and that colour looks like this, and it's kind of like a darker version, so I think I found it, I'm so happy, and because this is a um, proper lipstick, uh, more so than the shines, it's going to last me longer, and oh, I've just found my two favourite lipsticks in the world, so I'm so happy. I'd like to try more of these, but I don't know if I'll find a colour as good as this, but this formula is so much better than the um, actual lipsticks, I think, and it's so much easier to apply, feels nicer, looks really nice and shiny. It's called 410 Mischievous Rose, and it makes me so happy. Throw this away now. Lips. There's something else for lips. Okay, somebody has requested that I do a lip treatment video for us all going into autumn and winter and I will do that. Uh, it might take a little while, there's cars and trucks and stuff going crazy. It might take a little while but I will do it um, and this is going to be in this video, in that video because this is the second tub I've bought of this stuff and it is worth it guys. It costs about $26 full price here in Australia. You get 15 grams which is a huge amount. Um, compared to the higher end stuff. I bought the Christian Dior one and it just felt like 
it just it was beautiful and luxurious and it smelt lovely but it just kind of didn't do its job and this stuff is so good it's got a honey apricotty smell and I really really the texture I'm going to show you I've got lipstick everywhere I don't know if you'll see it but it just looks like that so it's not something like you'd wear out but you can and it just mattifies your lips it's just uh, it's what I put on every night and it has saved my lips but I'll talk about it in another video won't I I can throw this away now now for nails I heard about these from beautiful Natalie Imre and she talked about how the L'Oreal Paris little tiny nail thingies were um, comparable to Dior nail polishes. I do have a Chanel nail polish and I find that I, I put that on and I have to only be wearing that for one day because no matter what I do it starts chipping at the end of the day and basically it's packaging is luxurious and not much else. It's where our toilet is. I tried to wait until you were... No. This colour I'm in love with. I couldn't find it anywhere else. It's number 622. So if you find this colour, snap it up because it's a beautiful taupey greyish and I just adore this colour. And I'm glad that they're in small bottles because, you know, they won't go gluggy in time for you to finish them. But I'm going to have to go onto eBay and um, stock up on this colour. I love it go into L'Oreal and you'll see all the little bottles and they are better than any nail polish. I mean they go on beautiful and I'll show you the brush. It's a nice size brush, not too big, not, not too small and it just goes on so smoothly and dries beautifully and I love this formula. Okay, um, usually I throw in a favourite that's got something to do with household cleaning or um, something to do, something domestic and this is, I have to put this in because it's made me so happy. I was at my sister-in-law's and she had these little peggy things to put on her um, food whereas I thought I'm not wasting money on a couple of little clips, I'll just use clothes pegs if I couldn't be bothered to decant it into a um, container. Well I saw these at the reject shop, I don't know if they're still selling them and there's heaps and heaps of them in all different colours and sizes and they're just basically little weird clippy things like this and I did not know how valuable these things are because it just makes everything so neat and tidy um, you, you know when you roll things up and you put a plastic band or you put a peg on it you know just until you get around to packaging it properly with these you just grab them out of your junk drawer and you clip it on and it's done and that's turmeric so that was a risk but it's not a risk because that's not going anywhere. You know what? I'm going to tell you a little bit about turmeric. I cut myself. Oh my god. Oh, I had a rotten couple of weeks this month. Uh, sorry, last month. Um, just coming out of it. And one time I was... You know when you're having a negative day and it doesn't matter what you do, just crap keeps happening because you've just got a negative mindset? Well, I was washing the dishes. I think I might have been boiling or something. And I sliced my thumb. What did I slice? No, I sliced my thumb, this one, which you can't even see it anymore because it, it it kind of took a chunk out and it just would not stop bleeding. It was so bad and then I called Ron like crying and crying and he just said, grab some turmeric, chuck some turmeric on it and then put a um, band-aid on it or just wrap it up and hold it for a little while. And I did it because I saw his sister did that when she cut herself and she was living with us so I thought, oh here we go. I'm not very trusting unless I see it for myself. So I put it on there and it did stop the bleeding. It kind of all glugged up and kind of plugged it. And then horrible to talk about, I know. But it's useful if this happens to any of you. Um, I cleaned it again, put some more on and then put some band-aid on it. And it really healed really, really fast because it was quite a deep thing. And I was just so surprised. So turmeric. Oh, also, what else can you use it for? Let me see. The very good stuff for when you've got a sore throat. You know how you gargle with salt and water. Well, you want to gargle with salt and water, warm water and a little bit of turmeric. That's going to fix up your throat very fast as well. It's also good for your blood and everything, you know. Really good stuff. We've got some fresh stuff too to put in a salad, so we'll see how that goes. So boring, sorry. Who fails just so you can save your money or... Um, just get my two cents. First one is this is the second Chanel 
item that I've bought that isn't makeup. Um, the first one I bought was a beautiful little simple sleek classic compact mirror but I found that I didn't use it very much at all. I, this is another thing that I thought that I wanted to get something that was Chanel that I could keep forever and not throw away once the makeup um, had finished. And so I got this beautiful kabuki brush which has got a little bit of sand in it because it was at the beach in my handbag. Um, and it is the softest brush you'll ever feel in your life. It is beautiful and I love that about it. But you can't wash it. <sighs> when it gets dirty I like to wash my brushes at least once a week and I was having this in my handbag so I could just use it as a powder throughout the day. And I'm, So I was using it very often and I really wanted to wash it. And after having this for like six months I'll probably only wash it three times because whenever I do try to wash it. The drying time takes days and days and days. Um, if it's a hot day it will take maybe a day and a half but even when you think it's dry for some reason it feels dry and then you put it down and you leave it with its lid on. Well I find each and every time it ends up getting like this green mark on the side. It gets a green, I don't know if you can see it but just it's like it's rusting in there somehow like I don't know and I've tried not to get water water down in here and um, keep it like this but I don't know it's just that's just what's been happening to my poor little kabuki it's beautiful isn't it gorgeous it's like a little piece it's like a giant lipstick it's a little piece of perfection but I reckon I'd be a lot happier with a kabuki brush that dried faster and I know it's really soft but what's the use of it being so soft if I can only do one or two applications and can't clean it because I'm scared about the drying time and about this little rust issue. Next little fail. I'm so sorry guys I got the Australis AC um, on tour. I've heard good things about this and bad things about this. People have said that if you're quite skilled with makeup you should be able to figure out how to use the colours properly. shadow, um, a greyish tone shadow to do contouring but that is just, it's just wrong, there's something wrong about it. It's not, it's not beige enough, it's not, it's not beige enough, it's, it's too grey kind of thing so um, that's my two cents about that. They work great as eyeshadows, filling in eyebrows, this highlight is good, this is good. And it's cheap as chips, three and three dollars per thing, and these are huge. These are bigger than a fifty cent piece each. So, that's all I've got to say about that, everybody. I hope you had a fantastic Easter. I will see you again on Friday for Fragrance Friday. Bye.